Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm very sorry that half of your view is my steering wheel at the moment, but it won't be like that for long, I promise. Today I've got a very cosy, autumn, Halloween-y kind of style vlog for you. Starts off at the hospital, but then we're going for a little mooch around, and then we are going pumpkin picking. My favourite day of the my favourite day of the autumn season is here. I was gonna say my favourite day of the year is here, but it's not. Sidestepping, you know, my daughter's birthday, because that's a obvious. Uh Christmas. I, I just November first to like first week of January is my favourite day. <laughs> it's my favourite full day. Like I love everything to do with Christmas. But Halloween autumn comes a very, very close second and yeah we're going pumpkin picking and i'm so excited we've had the tickets booked from the moment they were released like i'm so excited and i have you'll see my outfit later um it's nothing special it's literally jeans and a chunky knit jumper but that chunky knit jumper i have coincidentally worn and i only figured it out this year when i was looking back on photos every single time we have been to a pumpkin patch so now unknowingly it's become a tradition and i am fully aware of it this year so i'm going to be wearing it um so yeah so you'll see that um i don't think there's anything to update you on other than the fact that the last time i saw you i was in corfu i am now seeing you in england where currently it is 5.5 degrees love it love it got my coat on oh i love it anyway i'm gonna be late for my hospital appointment i'll talk to you more about that in a little bit but let's go okay so we're finished up at the hospital and we're currently at denelm i'm waiting for it to open because i am early but i want to have a little mooch um so hospital was quite positive um so for those of you who don't know, I have a hole in my eardrum that has gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and it's basically expanded so much that I don't actually have an eardrum anymore. It's kind of just gone Um, So I am having, and I'm going to butcher this, my ringoplasty, which is uh, basically... Um, I'm going to be having surgery on my ear to, it's like a skin graft, to try and reconstruct and close up the hole whilst allowing my eardrum to still bring sound into my ear. Um, wait list is currently three to six months, which now thinking about, at first I was like, okay, that's good. Not too long to wait. I've had waiting lists where it's been a couple of years before. Uh, three to six months sounds great. And then I realised that in three to six months, we've got Disneyland, Paris booked, and then Joe's got two stag do's. Uh, <laughs> so, and and it's his dad's birthday and we're possibly talking about either a holiday or a party. I'm hoping now they go for the party because I don't think I could do another holiday. Uh, so... I've, all I've got to do is wait for this appointment to come through and then we'll see what time, like when it's at and see if I need to change it. So, yeah. But, had a hearing test and my hearing's decreased again since the start of the year. So, it's not fun. Not fun at all. And the surgery isn't going to, I, I won't gain hearing from having the surgery if it's successful. All it will do is prevent further hearing loss and prevent like ear infections and all that nasty stuff. So I am going for it. I'm now really nervous, um, but it's, it's positive. It's going to, I think it's going to be a very positive change for me. Um, they did say from the point of my, like from the point of my pre-op and surgery up until sort of discharge, it'll be about three months because I will come away from the surgery with like a dressing over my ear um, and 
it'll take I think he said about three to six weeks for that to come out and I'd need to go to the back to the doctor, the hospital for it for them to do the checks and make sure that it's healing properly and everything like that um so yeah it's going to be a long process once it started so yeah but it, I've I mean I've dealt with these issues my entire life. I was, they don't know when I got the perforated eardrum, but I've been having surgeries on it since I was about four. Um, so it's been, it's been well over, like it's been 20 years at least um, that I've been dealing with the issues that I have. And I'm just very, very grateful that I get to have this surgery to try and save my hearing slightly. Um, because I, I mean, I should have had this surgery a few years ago, but then I found out I was pregnant with Nelly and I couldn't because I have to go under and it's a huge, huge surgery. Um, so I couldn't have it. And then I was breastfeeding, so I couldn't have it. So then when they put me back on the list again, um, <laughs> I was like, no babies. I'm not being pregnant until I get this surgery now. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited, very, very lucky to be able to have a surgery like this and for it to be free on the NHS. So yeah, I'm just very grateful. I've got a lot of reading to do. They've given me a booklet, um, just sort of about follow-up care, like side effects of the surgery. There are multiple side effects. I won't scare you with them because I still need to wrap my head around them. But when, I think when the point of the surgery comes, I might do a surgery vlog and we'll discuss all of that then. If you do have any questions though, please do pop them in the comment box and I will happily answer them. Or if you wanna, I'm gonna pop a little, another little update over on TikTok. So if you do have that app and wanna ask a few questions, I'll pop a video up on there as well um, and just ask away. I'm more than happy to talk about it. But I'll save it for a different video on YouTube. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I am just gonna head into. I don't like it open just yet. It opens in five minutes, so I'm gonna head into Janelle. I can see. There's a you know one of those like neon light signs, and it says Santa Baby. I can see it in the window, so I know they've got Christmas stuff out, and it's making my heart happy because I'm so excited. And there's gonna be multiple vlogs coming soon I need to organize my loft my loft when we moved into the house my loft everything just went boof. I just chucked it up the stairs chucked it in no organ I kind of organizing but it's like so messy like I know what each section is meant to be but it's just I want it in like I want them organized into like big clear boxes and labels and stuff like that so if I don't go into the loft, other people know what they're looking for. So like Joe can go into our loft. He lives in the house. He knows what's up there. He would not be able to find it because it's an absolute mess. Um, so my plan is to organize it. But I think what I'm going to do is do it when the Christmas stuff's up. So when I decorate for Christmas, because that is the biggest bulk of it. Like the Christmas stuff is crazy. I have a lot. Uh, but I like it. So when the Christmas stuff is down, decorated, everything out of the loft, I think then, because it'll be less stuff in there, that's the point where I'm going to decorate it. So there will be a video on that as well. Um, organise with me. And even if you don't want to watch it for the organisation, please stick around and watch it just so you can judge me for how much crap is in my loft. Because I judge myself sometimes. I do. I really do. But yeah, so there's a lot to do. But yeah, I shall take you around to Nelm when it opens and when I go in. Okay, I royally messed up. It's Sunday. Shops don't open at nine o'clock, they open at 10. And I'm not sitting here for an hour. <laughs> I've got somewhere to be at 11, so we're not going to Denelm today. Really sad because I really want to check out their Christmas stuff. But I might be able to pop on Tuesday and you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. So if I do and then and I can, I can go, then I'll pop, still pop it into this vlog, but it'll not be now. So yeah, I messed up. So let's just go home. We're going to get ready. We're going to get dressed and we're going to go pumpkin picking. I'm so excited. Okay, so I'm home. I've just gotten dressed. I, well, I've kept my leggings on. 
but I put this chunky knit on and the reason for it is because this is coincidentally the jumper that I have worn oh, for the last not the year that Nelly was born so last year the year before and I think the year before uh, no sorry last year not the year before because that's the year that Nelly was born and we didn't go because I was giving birth <laughs> Uh, but the year before that and I think the year before that as well so yeah this is just became a unknown tradition that I did within myself but I've become aware of it come on then come on you can say hi no come on then hi baby You fell off the bed, she fell off the bed last night. She kind of like got her claws stuck, but her back ones fell. So she was like, like Simba, uh, not Simba, like Mufasa, holding onto the rock. She was like, but we got you up. You're just not happy about it, are you? Um, so yeah, so we are going pumpkin picking with Joe's sister, Hannah, her partner, Christian, and their son, Albie. Um, so it'll be a really nice family day. Last year it was pissing it down. It was torrential raining and it's not like that today. So fingers crossed for good weather <laughs> or just similar weather to what we're having now. It's windy, but it's dry. It's not too cold. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to go downstairs. I'll show you what Nelly's wearing. It's really cute. Very excited. And yeah, we're just going to get going. Um, I think we need to be we are slots at 11 which is in an hour so we're going to be setting off in about 20 minutes um because it is a little bit of a drive to get up there because we're in Dromfield so yeah we're gonna go I'll see you in a bit oh well I'll see you when we get there bye 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 go on then don't fall don't fall good job so we are here, we've just arrived, Nelly. Nelly's shouting, she's not slept, we thought she'd sleep on the ride up but she hasn't, but what she has done Nelly. is take her wellies off and Nelly. her socks off, so yeah, Nelly. yes baby, Nelly. what, yeah, no we're not doing moo moo, mm -hmm. we're going pumpkin picking, she wants to make sure her hands on the TV, um, but yeah we are just waiting for everyone else to arrive and then we're gonna go it's so muddy yeah so i will show you when we get actually into the pumpkin patch they've got loads of different like food stalls i think um i think they might have the goats out again they did at the sunflower picking so yeah i'm excited to see what they've got this year we came here last year so i'm excited to see how it compares so yeah i'll show you when we get inside <laughs> having a really bad bladder after having a kid uh, because the only option that I have is a porta potty and they're just so disgusting um, but we've just got a hot chocolate and we've just got in going to the toilet and then we're going to be going to uh, to the pumpkin field it's a separate field so we're going to be going over there but yeah I'm excited obviously the fields where we came sunflower picking um, only a couple of months ago maybe even just a month ago and all the wildflowers and everything like that. And over there are all the pumpkins.
so we're back from pumpkin picking we had the best time we've got some pumpkins and i just need some batteries for some outdoor lights and then i'm going to pop a little display up outside so make sure that you follow my instagram and tiktok to see when that goes out in the garden but yeah thank you so much for watching this week i hope you've enjoyed our little spooky cozy autumn kind of little video and i shall see you next week for the next one which is going to be an incredibly special vlog because it's Nelly's second birthday so make sure you stick around subscribe like if you can I really appreciate all your support I'll see you soon guys bye